This is Troll Peninsula, a small area in the northern part of Iceland, packed with beautiful fjords, cozy fishing villages, scenic mountain views, fun activities and water steaming with amazing marine life. However, many are unaware of this hidden gem, which in my opinion is a big mistake, because the drive around the peninsula only adds a few extra kilometers, and the views here are truly worth it. And as it has been my home for past couple of years, I could talk about this place forever. So let me show you around and tell you about some of the best places that you'll definitely want to visit here. Let's begin right at the top of the peninsula, in the town of Siglufjordur. Tucked between the steep mountains of the fjord, this in my opinion is one of the most beautiful towns you can find in Iceland. It's a town full of history, museums, good food and absolutely amazing views. To get the most out of these beautiful surroundings, I also recommend trying sea kayaking or going hiking to one of many viewpoints above the town. If you are visiting in the winter, this town has an amazing ski area too, which you will mostly have just for yourself. Another little town, located in a beautiful fjord, lies east from Siglufjordur, only a 15 minute drive through two tunnels. Its name is Olasfjordur and it is a nice place to spend a little bit of time exploring some of the viewpoints and having a picnic at its black sand beach or by the lake located behind the town. There are many good hiking trails in the area too, ranging from the easy ones like following the old road carved into the side of the mountain or visiting the lighthouse on the other side of the fjord to more challenging ones leading to the top of the ridge where you will find some stunning views overlooking the town. A very nice place close to Olasfjordur is the valley and mountain pass called Laugheide. Here you'll find some stunning mountain views and also hidden gems like this small waterfall right next to the road. Even though you can also drive here with a regular car, make sure you drive slowly as the road is a bit rough and there are many sheep in the area. Once you make your way down the mountain pass, you'll come across this man-made lake, Stifluvat. Right by its end, there is an amazing viewpoint, where I can guarantee you you'll get some great photos. Just keep in mind that Laugheri Pass is not passable during the winter months. The western side of the peninsula consists mainly of beautiful coastline, mountains and farmlands. However, there are still nice places that you should not miss. One of those would be for example this unique swimming pool in the little town of Hofsos, or this building, the oldest church in Iceland. And even though you can find it right next to the road, it can be easily overlooked as it blends perfectly into the local landscape. And that's why I put together a map where I marked all those interesting places and trails that I mentioned in this video. Plus I also threw in some local hidden gems and photo locations which some of you might be interested in checking out. Amongst those hidden gems is for example this little island Drangi, where you can book a tour from Hofsos and which is home to a big puffin colony. Honestly, one of the most amazing places I have ever visited. Even though I always recommend to people who are visiting North Iceland to drive around the peninsula rather than following the main road across the mountain pass, there is one spot that's worth a little detour. And that's this dramatic looking mountain ridge called Hrondrangi, which you can see right from the road. There is also an amazing hiking trail leading under this mountain ridge where you will find Lake Hronsvat, which to be honest, from my previous experience this spring, is only worth visiting during the summer months. On the east coast of Troll Peninsula, alongside Eyjafjordur, which is one of the longest fjords in Iceland, we can find four interesting little towns. Hjalteri, Hoiganes, Aurskogsandur and Dalvik. 
And as Ayafjordur is packed with amazing marine life, you can go whale watching from any of these places. And sometimes, if you get lucky, you can even spot the whales from the shore. Something that will probably stand out for many of you are these hotpots located in town of Hoytenes. The great thing about them is that they are located right by the ocean, so you can jump into its cold waters and then warm yourself back up in the hot pools. Not many people can honestly say that they swam in the sea in Iceland, so this will definitely make for a memorable experience. Plus they also have a pool in the shape of a small boat, which I think is pretty cool as well. The peninsula is also a place of many local breweries, one of which we can find for example here in Aruskoksandur, where you can do a tour through the beer factory or even take a bath in the beer in the local spa. If you have a time, you can also take a short ferry ride from here to the second biggest Icelandic island, Herise, often referred to as the Pearl of Eyjafjordur. Only a 10 minute drive further north lies another beautiful town called Dalvik. This is a place where you might want to stop for a delicious lunch at the local bistro Gisli Erikur Helgi or take a short walk on Dalvik's Black Sand Beach. This whole area is great for hiking or mountain biking, with many trails leading straight from the town. And then, in the winter, the whole place turns into a skier's paradise. It is no coincidence that the best Icelandic skiers, who even represented Iceland in the Olympics, come from this town. In case you want to enjoy more mountain views, you can take a short drive from Dalvik and visit the valleys Skidadalur and Svarvadadalur. Here you will find more hiking trails, but mainly peace and tranquility, as the valleys are home only to a few farms, grazing sheep and rivers. And for those of you who would like to spend the night here, I actually ran a small Airbnb here in one of those valleys. So if you are looking for a peaceful place to stay, you will find all the information in the description below. To be completely honest, it is places like Troll Peninsula that always remind me on how many hidden gems Iceland has and why it is always worth leaving the main road and go a little bit off the beaten path. And also, I would love to hear from you which of these places you like the most or what location in Iceland is the one that you are hoping to visit one day. And as always guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.